we mentioned uh, little Gracie a little bit earlier. Um, she's nearing her first birthday. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous little bub. Tell me, um, how's fatherhood been? Matt, it's been brilliant, actually. I think uh, I think it's something that I, w- I definitely wish I had done earlier. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, I've, I've loved every minute of it. She's been absolutely perfect. She's a little gem, like you said. And that's been so brilliant, so strong, especially over here by herself. Like, uh, you know, with, um, with, a, with a limited support network, she's done such a good job. And, yeah, Grace is, well, you know, she's... Yeah, she's beautiful beautiful and round and she puts on weight like her dad and she's got cute little ginger hair and blue eyes all sorts of love another thing bud you did the old uh, HPF run um, tell me about that and firstly tell me did you actually run it and then secondly how was it and thirdly how far did you run yeah I was I was very fortunate to um, be offered an ambassador role for the HPF run um, you know which is which is is all about like finding a reason and and bringing awareness to that um, my reason was yeah it was pretty simple it was just for my little bub yeah um i wasn't i was i wasn't aligned with a specific charity but just just more raising awareness for um for a bit of uh like for f- some fatherhood stuff but not, nothing too specific um yeah look i was so i was really looking forward to the run i, I was registered to do the um to do the 5k Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, which is it's you know it's just a nice easy one for the mm. parents with prams, you know, just jog mm. through it. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I had a little bit of a, a uh, I think it was a hamstring issue at mm. the time, which kind of um, yeah might have might have ruled me out of the run. But I got to the I got to the start finish line. Well, actually, no, not the finish line, just the start line. Okay. I got the picture for Instagram. Oh, that's good. Put which it up is there. yeah, yeah, it's about creating awareness for it, and I think that. That that was the important part at the end of the day. Yep. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Um, and tell me, if you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? You know that um, that's actually something that I've always thought about, and for years that song has been. Oh, geez, I wish we had it queued up. That would be good. Stardust. Music sounds better with you. It's just like, do you want to uh, give it a ding, go? Ding, 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 ding. I feel like music sounds better with you. That oh, one. That. Lo- what do you mean on that? It's the perfect balance of a bit of everything. There's a bit of getting there, a bit of electric stuff, a bit of bass. Hey, what do you mean on that? What would, what would your song be? I'm a purist. Um, a purist. What does that mean? I like, <laughs> I like good music. Uh... The Boss, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, he's pretty good. Cliche. Uh, yeah, cliche. Pretty uh, good. You too. Name me three Bruce Springsteen songs. Uh, Secret Garden. Uh, Dancing in the USA. And, Is it uh, Dancing in the USA? <laughs> Born in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and nah. Dancing in the Dark. <laughs> Dancing in the Dark. Yeah, could um, start a fire. Yeah, Which one's the one that Monica from Friends got dragged out of the crowd for in the film clip? Dancing in the Dark. Was it? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure. You're the you're the Bruce Springsteen fan, not me. Well, it just likes his moves, mate. Moves pretty well for most people's late sixties, I reckon. Yeah, because he he's got a head like a half-eaten mango. He's not offering much, eh? But those the moves he's got. His bank account offers a lot, probably. <laughs> so, how would you best probably describe me on a dating website? And how would you describe yourself? No, no, I'll describe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, a hard nut to crack. <laughs> but once you do, oh, yeah. the the meat inside is it meat inside a nut? But what's inside is uh, it's really worth getting to know. Just like, because you know you're a bit more of a quiet, reserved guy. But then once you once you invite people into the inner sanctum, mate, you really open up. Oh, so. Uh, yeah, you know, we can we can make it out later. I appreciate but, that. But um, yeah. Now, throwing this out there, um, so we we kind of strapped or trapped on an island, sorry. Um, just you and I. There's no one else. How do we get there? Oh, we woke up after a big night out. 
<laughs> who do you reckon would survive the longest? And why? I reckon. And why? Uh, I reckon we'd fight well to keep each other alive, but I reckon I'd survive the longest. I think I'm a little bit more adaptable wow. than you are. <laughs> Stop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just start. <laughs> See, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> You're giving up already, oh, man. No. Okay. Obviously, you've had a good career. Have I? Thank yeah, you. You've had a good career, bud. Um, loyal to the Force brand. Um, if you weren't playing footy, what job you reckon you'd have? Or, okay, if you weren't playing footy, what job would you have, or would you go into another sport? Oh, another sport. Yeah. I'd like to think that, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm, uh, if I'm really cut out for another sport. Mm. I would, I wouldn't mind. Like, it's something I've never played a game of rugby league, but I, and I would have liked to maybe give that a crack at some point in time. League? You're a big league fan, eh? Yeah, huge league fan. You know, yeah. uncle, uncle played a lot of, a lot of good level rugby league, and the old man wasn't mm. wasn't too shabby either. For the I Bronx? Always, was uncle it? played for the Bronx, Bronx and Groans yeah. and got a, got a game in for the uh, for the Kangaroos as well. Mm. Um, good on him. But it's funny, I've just, yeah, I've never ended up on a rugby league field, somehow. Much yeah. to my uh, uncle and my dad's dismay. My dad yeah. still doesn't know what's going on with rugby union. Or, yeah, he, he has as much of a clue as anyone else. Yeah. The way some of those refs are calling the games. Yeah, I know. Um, wow. But no, I think uh, I was working, I was working um, for an engineering company lead before I got my uh, first contract. So maybe I'd like to go back into the... Uh, into like a bit of business development management or something like that. Okay. Around that built environment yep. field. Like uh, something where somewhere I can own a own a Hilux and get get out of the office maybe two days a week, visit yeah. a site, you know, do a bit of work in the office. Yeah. Talk with people because I talk too much anyway. Oh well. Um, I didn't know that. And then uh, yeah, but you know, but then you know, spend a bit of time on the road where I can be in my solitude as well. So so obviously I said that you talk a bit much sometimes only in certain circumstances what what do I do that annoys you if anything <laughs> if anything where do I don't start don't make up something obviously if it's not there oh it's pr- it's probably the opposite end of the stick you know just being Maybe being like you know, take the blinkers off sometimes. You know, and stop and smell the roses. I think. Mm. I know when we're in there, we've got to do work, but you know, enjoy your work. You know. So you sound too serious. Ah, oh, maybe not too serious, but you know, you can be a little bit more social. With me, anyway. You know, I miss you. I feel like I only see you at work nowadays. I take work seriously. That's why. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so moving on, we've, it's quite exciting, we obviously going up to Mindaroo next week, um, tell me, you know anything about it, what do you reckon we got to expect? Uh, oh, I've my earplugs. Yeah, I've, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a given whenever you're touring with, with Kieran Longbottom that you need to bring earplugs, mm. Um, mm. but you know. If we're handling a chainsaw through the day, maybe we'll get used to it. We don't have to listen to it all night. Yep. But uh, no, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a really good little adventure. Um, really good opportunity for us to spend a bit of time as a team together away from rugby and, and get to see a really good part of the uh, of the state as well. I think that's something that a lot of the guys who, who aren't from here originally, but um, and as well, like myself included, guys who have spent a lot of time here, we, uh, we really don't get the opportunity to explore like a lot of the... Um, a lot of the big parts, a lot of the stuff up north in WA, and there's so many great, great parts of it to see, and that's what, as much as, like, look, I know you're, uh, you're not the biggest fan of sleeping in a swag, it's, is that fair to say, or? I'm adaptable. Yeah, you are, are you? <laughs> Depends if we're on a desert island, deserted island or not. Um, desert island. Yeah. Desert island, yeah. Uh, we, it might feel like a desert island up there, but I think, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward. I don't mind, you know, roughing it a little bit, getting out in the swag mm. and spending a bit of time but just on a property. I think some of my greatest experiences, I grew up, yeah. we were out on my grandparents' farm, like every school holidays we'd go out there and 
and you know, I was only, I was, it was only in my younger years, so we weren't doing too much hard labour. But it was, I really enjoyed getting up, feeding the chooks, milking the cows, mm. just doing everything around the property, and you know, whatever we've got, uh, whatever we've got in store for us up there, I think is is going to be really good, and it's just going to be enjoyable, enjoyable to spend a bit of time as a group away, from, like without yeah. a rugby ball. Yeah, it should be interesting. Mm. Um, kind of chopping and changing questions here, so that's all right. So we've got an amazing uh, editor, so um, amazing media team. Obviously, we got a bit of a break now, um, and we'll be getting into some club footy. Um, so the next two games <coughs> in the World Series against Hong Kong and Panasonic. Mm-hmm. You looking forward to that? Yeah, absolutely. Hong Kong, I believe, are in the process be... of World Cup qualifiers. So. Yeah, and that's they're two teams that are that are both uh, both coming over here to play to play us for different reasons. They'll both mm present very different challenges um, yeah Hong Kong looking to looking to crack that World mm. Cup uh, and then Panasonic gearing up for their top league season which is starting a little bit earlier because of the World Cup in Japan next year so yeah. do you know any boys of, in the Panasonic team yeah we're pretty excited pretty excited to see one of uh, one of the forces favorite sons come back hopefully Sammy Wax should be back over oh, here Wax, yeah yeah he's uh, he's already been talking up of course talking up their ability and then um, and as well, another X Force player who spent a year here, Akita Yamada. Is that right? Uh, yep. Who's you know scoring a thousand tries in Super Rugby right now for the Sunwolves and gassing Israel Folau and whatnot, making a few people look a little bit silly. He'll be uh, he'll hopefully be over mm. here as well. So okay. fingers crossed that I end up with Waxy running at me instead of uh, instead of Aki. Yeah, two good uh, men as well. Oh, great, great two individual. It was very stand up man. Uh, I definitely, I think I'd rather be. I'd, I'm happier one on one with uh, with Wysey coming at me instead of Aki because that bloke is absolute lightning. Yeah, I know he is. He's uh, he's good football though, Aki. Mm-hmm. Uh, top bloke. <coughs> now, probably this last question. Um, it's quite a deep one as well. Probably oh, quite wow. a meaningful one. Okay, um, just give me a second just to prep myself. Oh, geez, that's thick. Actually, I should have, if I went off my media advice, I should have waited till you asked the question and then had a sip of my drink then, buy myself some time. But come on. Um, <laughs> like I said earlier that you've, you've had quite a, a lengthy career, um, who would you say has been the most um, important person in your career that's played the biggest role in terms of either um, helping you through difficult times or, or giving you some advice kind of being there as a mentor for you or, or anything else you know who would you say um, if you have to I know it's quite tough to pick maybe one individual because maybe there's uh, yeah. certain people for yeah. certain times yeah, in your life different guys over different mm. periods but the one that I always go to was my uh, he was actually my first 15 coach and uh, he passed away a few years back but um, the way like just the way he treated he helped a lot of us who were boys kind of really become men and and uh, the way he treated us as a group and looked after us, and he, he ended up coaching me for about four or five years all up. Um, a guy called Al McPherson. He was and he was just a, he was a good old uni boy as well, which is the uh, which is myself and Ian Pryor. It's both our our club is the University of Queensland. We're actually Rocket as well. He pops up pops up on Ladies Day usually um, for a game then. But um, no, Al Al McPherson was probably someone who who straight away comes to mind. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was just a, he was a good man. He got the best out of, out of myself and uh, and a lot of my mates as well. Um, over over a good period of time, and his his influence has kind of uh, he's kind of stayed with me over the last kind of decade. And and st- some of the advice he gave me during different periods uh, really kind of helped catapult me to help me become a a, uh, a professional rugby player, not an athlete. Because yeah, I don't call us athletes just you know, professional rugby player and, yeah. and and yeah he's probably someone who's uh who's really stuck with me for a long time beautiful mm. right right well it? it's um yeah, it's no. been fantastic to have this drive with yeah, you and obviously it? you're a you're a good mate and um oh hey good mate of mine so um yeah, you're all right too we've uh, shared some good memories on the field and you know hopefully you're going to share a lot more so hopefully thanks for the ride more this year, next year hey? thanks for the chat beautiful I'll keep my eyes on the road and get us home safe. (laughs)